Hello guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going on a walk and I wanted to vlog earlier today so badly but I wasn't allowed to. So um, my story today for you is how I just got my nose pierced. Um, so you can see it right there. I don't like this camera. I don't like any of the cameras I use to film. Um, this one is the best one. This is the Nikon D3200, but um, I just feel like it's not best for the face. It's like good for scenery and stuff. It's good for pictures, not good for video. Uh, so I'm just like, uh, sorry, that's totally not what I'm supposed to be talking about today. Today I'm talking about my piercing. So uh, my sister and I usually go do fun things for my birthday. My 18th birthday was in April. It's now the beginning of September. And today uh, we decided to get my nose pierced because we never did since she had a baby. Back around my birthday she was very pregnant and then she had a baby. And so we waited until the baby was old enough for me to get, uh, to, to leave her, uh, what am I saying? So now my sister and I finally had time after a long time of not being able to do something. So usually we'll do something like go somewhere. But um, this time she took me to get my first piercing at the place where she got her first tattoo done. And um, this guy, Blake, I think, did the piercing and it was really, really nice. Uh, this one chick, short hair, it was rainbow dyed in the back. And they both had like really awesome piercings and tattoos and stuff. But um, they're super friendly. And uh, they, funny story, um, Kimberly went in there to like talk to them and she an airplane she was holding her baby and she walked into the uh, tattoo parlor and said hey um, I'm gonna get her nose pierced and she pointed over her shoulder but she was pointing over the shoulder she had her baby on so they were looking at the baby and looking at her like your baby and then she's like oh no no my sister and then I poked out from behind them I was like hi I'm the one getting my nose pierced <laughs> and they were about to flip out for a second they were like looking like are you serious um, yeah but anyways we didn't pierce a baby's nose we pierced my nose and um, she showed me a ton of jewelry and I asked if I could film for my YouTube channel and she said no uh, filming is not allowed there or something but um, I really don't understand why like that makes no sense but they did it very professionally he showed me how um, all the things that he uses that are uh, sanitizable but then um, everything that was disposable like he showed how he throws away everything that he uses that is not able to be sanitized properly um, and how he like walked me through the process of everything that he was doing. It was very professional and it was really, really good. Um, the pain was very interesting. It wasn't like pain, pain, but it was like a really hard pinch on my face. And then all of a sudden my ear, my eyes started tearing up like crazy because your nose is obviously connected to your navel cavity, which is connected to your um, eyes. And so, your eyes will water but um the second most painful part was when he tried to put in the jewelry it was just like really uncomfortable and tight and like sore and it was just like ugh. now i feel like i can't feel it at all and it's uh, apparently one of the easiest things to heal i just pretend like it's not there don't mess with it don't try to do anything other than like you know put the solution on it that i should put on it and then i'll be good um I was just really bummed I couldn't film. A ton of stuff there was really awesome. Like you walk in and there was this like uh, sign that said no solicitation unless you're selling tattoo supplies or Girl Scout cookies, which is awesome because I, I feel that way too. Uh, and then also they, you walk up and then you see like these doors and they all have art on them and you walk in and all the artists have like art on the walls of like the tattoos that they can do like tattoo flash pages with just so much art I've been thinking about tattoos I want and the funny thing is I 
have I have not done any tattoos professionally before, but I've always planned on it and I've always wanted to and now that I'm eighteen I kinda of, I can. But yeah, I chose to do like I think it's pink opal or blue opal or purple opal. It's opal. They pierce uh, nose piercings at 18 gauge. I think the cost for just this this uh, piercing here was ninety dollars, but with the service cost put in, it was like over a hundred, maybe a hundred thirty, hundred twenty or something. And I talked to Kim about the price, and it was like just because it was really professionally done, and like she was like the like when you're paying for a cheaper service you can really tell because of the equipment that they use and the jewelry they give you and it's just like not as well done if you're paying for cheaper usually and this place had really nice stuff so it was way more expensive and um, the guy doing it looked like he had a lot of experience the way he was talking about the medical side of it and she said he most likely had a medical background because it just seemed like that. I mean, my sister was you know, in nursing school and she does pediatrics, so she, she like was talking about that. But um, I feel like there was something I was going to talk about, but I didn't. Oh yeah, tattoos. So I kind of really want um, a safety pin right here on my arm. I don't know if you could see that, and then on the back of this right leg, sort of right here, like I want a little. I don't know if you could see. I want a little tree, like um, black ink, all line work, just kind of like what's it called? Like um, you know, like a, a like a dictionary book how they how you open it up and there's like little sketches little simple sketches of some of the definition words defined words um like just kind of like a really simple line work clean line work drawn sketch i'm not looking for any crazy gray shading or designs or color it's really simple yeah I'm sitting in the middle of a church parking lot right now. It's pretty fun. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down and talk kind of vlog. Um, I was going to make a video kind of about my life lately, what's been going on. But a lot of what's been going on is just too stressful and too personal to talk about. As well as being, you know, boring for some of you. So, um, this video is just about my piercing, I guess. Yeah. I want the other one done. I want double nostril piercings, eventually. So, um, I was planning on doing that maybe for my 19th birthday. So, like, wait for this to heal and me get really comfortable with it until I decide I, I really want the other one done. I'm just going to give that time, even though I really want it done now. It's just, like, I don't feel like healing too holes on my face at the same time. Also, you get, you guys may notice this thing here. It's not blood coming out of my nose. I had a horrible pimple there earlier this week because I had a cold and then I freaked out because that was where I was getting a piercing. And I was like, no. So I kept trying to pop it before it was ready just because I was super frustrated with it. <sighs> yeah, don't do that. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Bye.